definitely welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hope you guys are having a great and exceptional day. Let me move this a little bit closer. There we go. All right. My lighting is way off today for some odd reason. <laughs> I need to turn this down a little bit. <sighs> uh, yeah, that's a little better. Anyways. All right. So it is Wednesday. It's the day after... Um, the day after 4th of July, hopefully everybody had a great 4th of July weekend, holiday, um, got to enjoy the fireworks. I'm actually glad the fireworks are over, even though I have a funny feeling that tonight more and more people will be, um, excuse me, engaging with uh, igniting fireworks and all that good stuff. But it is what it is. Today's word of the day, well, words of the day, but it's kind of, they just go together. Legis uh, General Assembly stands for... A legislative body, the main deliberative body of the United Nations, or you, and a lot of other countries have it. Like you got the General Assembly and state government, federal government, all that great stuff. And the reason why I chose this word today is because too many of us, especially in America and other Western nations, we think that it's a everybody's doing it by themselves, and that's never ever true. Like Elon Musk, whether you love him or hate him, I don't care about him, but. Um, he's not doing everything by himself. The current president, the future president, the current governor of your state, the future governor, current mayor, future mayor, whatever. And I'm not getting into political nonsense. I don't care. I don't, I don't, both sides are full of this. I don't pay attention to that nonsense, but I'm just talking about the, when someone gets into power, they still have to be able to not be such a narcissistic individual to the point where they think that they know everything. They have to be able to listen to other people's ideas, exchange, collaborate, motivate, go from there. That's the way the game goes. And the same thing goes in a corporation. You have the CEO or CEOs. You have the shareholders. You have the different executives. They, no one's, someone might be the face of the organization or the faces of the organization, but no one's ever the sole um, uh, mindset of the organization. Because, you you know, to be able to even utilize all these tools that we use on social media, like I'm using Instagram right now, a multitude of people have to put these things together. You know what I mean? So that's just something to take into consideration. All right. Um, so always do your best to have your own uh, general assembly of people who are about uplifting, educating, and motivating, and can have a good time every now and then as well, but getting things done all at the same time. Today's quote of the day is by Jada Kiss, one of the greatest rappers ever to this day. Definitely proved it on the verses that they had last year. He says, I'll kiss the game goodbye when I no longer have the passion and love for it. And a lot of things in people's lives, um, outside of, you know, family and certain friends, we just lose passion for. But and we only do it because it's making us money. And a lot of times that when we're doing something that just makes us money, it kills our creativity when it comes to doing the job. You know, um, it kills our creativity. Like great example, DC Young Fly, rest in peace to his wife. You know, I gotta give love and respect the fact that he's still going on. You know, I gotta give love and respect that he's still going on and doing what he has to do. He has his family to take care of and he has to take care of himself at the same time. But he, I know that he genuinely, he's so great at what he does in regards to being a comedian, rapping, singing, and being just being all around creative. Plus, I'm gonna watch the video he has on um, with the rest of the 85 South show um, in regards to um, investing. They say he's really intelligent when it comes to investing in the stock market and various other things. Um, but he's, he's so great at what he does because he's passionate about it. And even even though, you know, he had to unfortunately deal with the situation of his wife passing away, he's still going on. The show must go on. But he's, you know, but he's so great at what he does because he's passionate about it. And when you're passionate about something, even though though you're constantly on the grind and doing what you have to do, you still never work a day in your life. And, and the only thing I can say is learn to not lose passion about the things that matter to you. Now, when it comes to your kids and your significant other, yeah, that's just that's just a natural love. That's a natural progression. That's a natural. I'll do anything for them, and I and now so that I would never tell. Like if you lose passion for your significant other, that's a whole other story. It does happen. You lose your love for a significant other, but most times parents don't lose love for their kids. Um, they don't lose the passion that they have to do what they have to do for their children, unless their children are just a psychopathic killer and that's just trying to hurt and kill everybody. You know, that's another story for another day. But just do your best in this life to not lose your passion. Do your best in this life to, um, because when you when you have a passion, regardless of what it may be, as long as it's not smoking crack and being an alcoholic, um, the greatest shite, the greatest light will come from out within you. And then that great, beautiful light can be expressed towards others. And then therefore you make this world a better place because we live in a time now. And like I said, me, it's been a minute since I traveled and me going, traveling to Houston, Texas. And then I had to stop in 
Um, I stopped in Dallas, Texas. I stopped in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. And I just noticed that a lot of people just have this more of a douchebag mindset to them. More people have a um, pompous and title arrogance to them. And I'm going to go to Jackson, Mississippi next week. So I'll see how that, and I'll have some stops, um, layovers there. So we'll see how this um, adds up. But on that note, do the great thing for your things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as I always say, make money move. So you're going to live broke like a fool. The goal is tomorrow night to go live on Facebook and um, YouTube. And um, I think, I, you know, because it's July, I think it's time for me to do today's forecast. We're all going to die. As I, you know, I think that's it's time for that, especially because I'm going out of town this weekend. So I got to get all my videos out of the way. So on that note, do the great thing for your things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. Make money moves. Or you're going to live broke like a fool. Take care.